In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display all posts on one page. We're going to do it in two different ways. The first way is a listing of post title, description, featured image, author, metadata, and all that for all your posts on one page. And the second way is just a point form list of just titles and possibly even, depending on how you set it up, having a breakdown of year and months and when those posts were published. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. The two ways I'm going to show you to display posts on your site. First one is built into WordPress. You don't need a plugin for it. The second one is a plugin and it's a bit of a tidier way or more of a point form way of displaying posts, whereas the first one is going to be post description, abstract, thumbnail, things like that. So to do the first one, we're going to create a new page. I'm just going to go to pages and then add new. I'm going to call this page all my posts. Click on publish. I'm going to right click on the link and click open link in new tab so we can see what it looks like. And right now there shouldn't be anything there besides just the regular template. So here's our regular template. No posts are being shown. Now we go into settings and then reading. And instead of our post page as block, we want to change our post page to the one we just created, the all my posts page. Here you probably have the number 10 on yours by default. And you can show as many as you want, whatever number you have. So if you, if you show 10, but you have 20 posts, they're going to appear on two different pages. If you have 10 set here, but you have a thousand posts, they're going to show on a hundred different pages. So it depends on how many posts you have and how many you want to show on one page. Keep in mind that it does affect the load time of the page. The more posts that are being loaded, the longer it's going to take to load this page. Because this video is about displaying all your posts on one page, let's just set this to 1,000. Click on Save Changes. Come out here, refresh this page. And now we have all our posts displaying on this page. Right from the very first one. These are full text posts. Next one, next one, all the way down. As you can see, they're all very random. This is my demo slash test site, all very random. So there you can display all your posts on one page by using that method that is without a plugin. If we want to have a bit of a cleaner method or a point form method, we're going to add a new plugin. Go to plugins and then add new, and then look for simple yearly archive. I'm going to click on install now for this first one up here. If you are on a live site, you might want to back up your site first and your database. If you need help with that, I've linked to a tutorial up above using Backdraft Plus to do your backups. Super simple, free, you can schedule it. It's awesome. So if you want to do a backup, do that now. I'm on my demo site, so I'm not too concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Install Now and then Activate. Now I have a new menu option under Settings. It is called Simple Yearly Archive. Click on it to open the settings. First thing you want to do is choose your date format. I'm just going to choose this one at the very bottom that updates the PHP codes for that date format in here. I'm just going to choose linked years for now. You can go through all these options on your own because they're, they're pretty self-explanatory and all you do is you check them or uncheck them and you see how that affects the display of your page. So I'm not going to go through each of those for you because I don't want to bore you with it mainly. After we have that saved, I'm going to go to pages and add new again. I'm going to call this all my posts number two. Click on Publish. I'm going to right-click the link to open in a new tab again so we can see how this page looks before we add our archive or our simple yearly archive information. This is how it looks right now. Now if I head back into here, we enter a short code, open and close square brackets, type in simple, capitalized, yearly, capitalized, archive, all one word. Click on Update. Then come back out here and refresh this page. We now have nice bullet form lists of all the posts in each year. And people can click on them and they see the full post when they click on any one of these. Let's click on best movies. And that will take them to the post. And that is a much cleaner point form way of doing it using a plugin. The other way, again, looks like this. It'll look different on yours. My display is a little bit broken. It's right off to the left because I've messed around with the site too much but yours will display different, but it will display more of the content, the date, the title, the description at the least, uh, featured image, 
whereas this method just displays the date and the title. And it's a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, so choose which method you want, try them both, see which one you like better, and they're really simple to do. I always recommend the one that doesn't use a plugin because plugins can slow down your site and they add vulnerabilities to your site. So I usually go without the plugin, but if you like the plugin method better, then go with the plugin method. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And next up, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.